Hello everyone, this is Jack with Obedia. Today we're going to be looking at setting up an interface and your I.O. setup in Pro Tools. Let's get started. So I've opened Pro Tools here. Uh, I haven't opened a session yet, um, but I'm going to set up my interface and my I.O. first and check all that out and make sure that that's okay. And then I'm going to open up a session to test everything to make sure that that's working. So if I go into Setup here and go into Playback Engine, this is going to give me a list of all of the different sound engines or interfaces that I have connected to my uh, computer or my system. So right now I only actually have one interface, which is my Universal Audio Apollo, but I do have some other options here. So one of the things with Pro Tools that's kind of nice is you have a Pro Tools aggregate I.O. So let's say you had multiple interfaces. You could actually go into um, the Audio MIDI setup here, and within the audio MIDI setup in the audio devices um, window, you can kind of glue your interfaces together. So in this case, I only have one physical interface, which is the Universal Audio Apollo, but I do have some other options. So built-in output, the built-in microphone in my laptop, and then AirPlay, which is essentially uh, the network that I'm connected to has a uh, audio output on it. So I can actually send uh, audio remotely over the network. Um, that is not very useful for most studio stuff. Uh, the built-in microphone for your laptop, there's not necessarily going to be a lot of people using that for Pro Tools. Uh, the built-in output could be useful if I didn't have my interface with me and I just wanted to use my headphone output. Um, but under this Pro Tools aggregate, I can kind of glue things together. I'm not going to be using that today, and we'll have another video explaining that. So let's move on from there. I'm going to go ahead and close the audio MIDI setup and go back to uh, the Pro Tools playback engine selection. So I'm going to select Universal Audio Apollo, which is my uh, interface that I'm going to be using. Uh, we can come back here to the buffer size and all that kind of stuff later, but I just for right now want to select my, my proper playback engine. So once I've done that, I can, um, I can come back here to the setup menu and I can go to I.O. And this is going to give me the input, output, and bus assignments for my interface. So right now, everything is set to default. And you can see up here it says uh, Universal Audio Apollo, and it has all my analog inputs on the input tab and SPDIF and all that kind of stuff. Uh, same thing on the output tab, and then all of my buses. So let's for a moment assume that it didn't show up properly. So let's say it looked like this. Well, one thing that's nice is you can always just hit default, and what that's going to do is default the I.O. setting back to the original defaults for your specific interface, which is great, because if there's any kind of issue, you can just hit default and you're ready to go. Now, keep in mind, I'm doing this without a session open, so if you did have a session open, there may be uh, tracks that were assigned to inputs or outputs that were active or uh, an incorrect input or output, and you may have some discrepancies there, um, which we'll, we'll see here in a minute. So um, I go to the Input tab, make sure that's all default. It's basically just diagonal here. So for you know every input, I have an assignment over here. It automatically breaks it down for mono as well, which is nice. Um, same thing here with my outputs. So uh, I have all the outputs that are default. And then if I go over to my buses tab, uh, once again, everything is default here as well. So once that's all taken care of, uh, the only other thing that, that would be uh, necessary to think about here is this option down here, which is sessions overwrite current IO setup when opened. So what that means is when I open a session, it's going to rewrite or overwrite all of these settings. So that may be something that you want to select. In this case, it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So I'm going to open up a new session. And as long as Pro Tools is selected here, Apple N gets me to the new session window. Uh, I'm going to, just going to do 44124 and interleaved here, just a blank session. And I'm just going to call this uh, I.O. on my desktop here. And opening up this session, uh, there's going to be a couple things that I want to do. The first thing I want to do is import some audio real quick to make sure that my output is working and I can hear everything. So right here I have this test mix. Um, if I want to just double check and make sure my I.O. and everything is still there, I can go back and, and check it out now that I have a session open. And now, theoretically, I should be able to hear this audio. So 
So now that I've confirmed that I can hear this audio, I know that uh, my output is set correctly. And uh, of course, I could go through here and I could check my full I.O. I could set up a whole bunch of tracks and uh, have a microphone hooked up to every input and check all of that and check every output. Uh, most of the time, you're not going to need to do that. Um, if you have selected the correct playback engine and your I.O. setup is correct um, and you're getting audio out, then most of the time you're OK. And then you can make tweaks as you go in the future. That was an overview of the playback engine and the I.O. setup. We should have another video coming on the Pro Tools aggregate I.O. setup that I mentioned earlier in the video. Uh, I hope this has been helpful, and please check out some of our other videos. Thanks for watching. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.